let's load our game. Get a little bit of a plot summary here too at the crossroads center. Uh, Guybrush jumped through the portal to confront LeChuck, only to find that he's still a ghost and that he can't actually touch anything in the physical realm. And worst of all, Elaine has willingly become LeChuck's demon bride. Morgan convinces Guybrush that it's time to get his body back and kick LeChuck's butt. Yeah, so we just got through the portal, and I think we have to get, like, a voodoo lady locket. Oh, let me get chat up here. Hang on. Yeah, I think we got to get, like, a locket from the voodoo lady, and then repossess our body, and then be able to use the demonic sword against LeChuck. So, um, here is the rip and La Sponja through the rip. La Esponja Grande is sucking up the voodoo energy from the crossroads and transferring it to LeChuck. Maybe I can just push it. <sighs> nope. Ah, so we might have to dislodge La Esponja. That might be a thing. So that the rip doesn't isn't in place. Oh, the dead tree is the dead tree gone? The, oh no, it's here. It is here. <sighs> hmm. So if we kick, hit the rip, does that just take us back through? Here I come, LeChuck! Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> of course we're not corporeal. We don't have our body back. So this will not work out too well, I imagine. Okay, LeChuck, you caught me off guard once by making Elaine spray me with root beer. Are you ready this time? Ready for what, sweetums? Uh-oh. <laughs> that worked well. All right, so uh, we definitely want to take the boat. I guess we have to get our body back. Can we only do that with the locket? I mean, yeah, I'm not sure what the relevance of the locket is, but I guess we'll find out. So anyway, let's just go back to where our body is to start. I imagine we're gonna have to do something with those pyrite parrots because I was trying to do something with them earlier. Caleb, what are you doing over here? Standing mostly. What's going on with the crossroads? I thought the spell would take me back, not just rip open the spiritual realm. Is there any way to stop it? Yes. I assume you are still carrying around that last shred of life you came here with. If you were to give that up, the rips in the crossroad should close right up. Really? It's as simple as that? Yep. A simple sacrifice of a teensy shred of life, and all these rips will seal up good as new, putting everyone in their place for eternity. Of course, you'd be stuck here for good, and LeChuck is probably already powerful enough to destroy every living thing on the planet, so I don't see what good it'd do. So I can close these rips, but then I'll really be stuck here? A pirate's life. Not for me. For eternity. I like his corn cob pipe. Well, we'll probably have to do that after... Maybe we're back on the other side. Hi, Caleb. Oh, hello again, Dry Rub. It's Guybrush. That's what I said. <laughs> dry Rub. Where have you been? Oh, I don't know. Just wandering, I guess. I thought I heard my dog over here. I guess I was wrong. I thought you said it was Franklin wasn't your dog. Is it a different dog? Why are there other smaller rips in the crossroads? Oh, those oh, are the ambience. They create a nice mood light for those nice romantic nights. The rips in reality are for mood lighting? Oh yeah, there's one. Mood lighting? Are you nuts? They Chuck must have discovered the monkeys of Montevideo and used them to conjure up the location of the crossroads in the physical world. That would have weakened the integrity of the fabric between the worlds. I see. How did you say I could close the rips in the crossroads? Shred of life. If you sacrifice your last shred of life in the main tear... Uh, it has to be the main tear. That should do it. But like I said, then you'd be stuck on this side for good, and the Chuck would be free to do what he wants on the other. I see, I see. All right, see you later, Caleb. See you later, Caleb. Sure. Anything's possible. <laughs> it's possible. I can see you later. Hey, morning, Tubbies. They're all out of the grug. All right, let's see if we can get up to our body or not. Guy brush three foot, mighty pirate. Can't actually get up there though. 
What if we... So if we... Oh, we go in this rip. Do we enter at a different location? Ah, oh, we do. Winslow. Captain Threepwood? Captain on deck! Mr. Winslow? Relax, I'm not the captain anymore. I'm dead. Ah, uh, yes. I thought you looked a bit more wispy than usual, sir. <laughs> and this is hardly the screaming narwhal. What happened? It was that nasty Lechuck fellow, sir. Ooh, you were right about that one. First, he knocked me off the ship, and then he kidnapped your lovely wife. And then... Yes? Then he... No, oh, I can hardly say it, sir. Did he make you kill someone? Force you to turn on your family and loved ones? He took down the map, sir. Oh, no. How does one expect to get anywhere without a map? Hey, Atari girl. Morning, morning. And there's a hypnotized monkey. Oh, boy. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. What are you doing out here? Sailing, sir. Sailing? Well, rafting at least. Mm. Why is there a monkey on your raft? Actually, the raft belongs to the monkey, sir. Oh. LeChuck tried to convince your wife that right here was this creature's natural habitat. Between you and me, sir, I dare say that LeChuck wasn't trying to help these poor monkeys <sighs> at all. Wow, you don't say. What happened to the narwhal? After LeChuck knocked me off, he simply set it adrift at sea. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. Very good. Where is this pile of rocks and paper? What's this stuff? Those are the pieces I need to play a game I'm inventing called Rock Paper Fountain Pen. Hmm, interesting. Hello, little monkey. I wouldn't, sir. He's still a bit frustrated that we can't agree on the props we need for our new game. Rock, paper, and I say fountain pen. He disagrees and gets rather bitey about it. I wonder when scissors were invented. That's a good question. Man overboard! Well, good heavens, sir. All right, why not? Oh, yeah, so we're back at the Manatee Mating Ground as well. I think that's what's left of Dekava's ship. The Voodoo Lady's locket! It's stuck up there on that seaweed! But it looks like it survived another harrowing voyage through a giant manatee. <laughs> Very harrowing. There's a fishnet here. Sometimes on my birthday, Elaine wears fishnets. Uh, <laughs> this being the real world, I still can't touch anything. So this fishnet has to stay here. Oh, I see. All right, so yeah, we probably can't do anything in this world until we get uh, in the real world, until we get our body back, I suppose. Oh, 400 BC was the shears, but what about scissors? Weren't the shears big? Oh no, Hakai says three, th four thousand years ago. Damn, Mesopotamia. Wow. Giant manatee bones. To think, my bout of Cyrano-styled romance has brought peace to these murky depths. How lovely. Reminders of. Hey, what? Giant manatee. Reminders of why blind dates are a really bad idea. Well, these bones were always here, right? That's not like we didn't cause the male one to get eaten by the female, did we? Yep. This was the home of La Esponja Grande. I see. The motion of my ocean isn't enough to jostle this seaweed. Maybe if I had some physical substance, I could get this seaweed moving. Maybe. There's a locket. Come here, locket. By the way, what do we... So we have the Shred of Life, Crusty Sack, Fistful of Whole Eights, Tip Jar, and Spirit Toe. Can we talk to the... Is the female manatee here out of curiosity? Hello? Swim away! I'll zap you with this eel. Anemone? Guy brush? Ah, yeah. That's not the manatee. Are you okay? No. Spinner K has been destroyed. Oh, no. What are you doing in there? What you should be doing. Hiding from him. Man, what did he do to you? Nothing yet, thank Poseidon. Look, I know Winslow can be a bit forward, <laughs> if not a bit body, but he's got a good heart. No, not sweet Reggie, I mean the Chuck. Reggie. Oh, I see. He destroyed Spinner K. The sails of his undead pirate ship are filled with the winds of the apocalypse. Oh, that's not good. Look, come out and let's talk about this. No, I'm too frightened. I need your help out here. For what? Well, unfortunately, I'm currently a ghost, so I can't touch anything. 
A ghost? How? What happened? I'll give you one guess. Killed by him? I'll stay in here, thank you, where it's safe. You want to come out and talk? No. It's not that scary out here. I could be skewered by LeChuck's fiery harpoon at any second. It's not that bad. Can I get you to come out? No, I don't trust anyone. Well, maybe Reggie. Reggie, Wait, eh? Winslow? That salty dog. Despite our taxonomic differences, Winslow understands me. Huh. I wonder how that works, um, logistically. Do you really wonder now that? I'll never see him again. You and Winslow are you and Winslow? I'd never assume he would have me as his life partner, but we have shared our love. When did this Whoa. happen? Too much information. And now I'll never see him again. Would you come out for Winslow? I would venture out of the safety for a mere sign of my dear Reginald. A mere sign? A mer sign, perhaps? Look, okay, well, okay. I'll go see what I can do. Winslow isn't too far away. He's come to see me? Uh, sure. I knew what we had was special. I don't know if special is the word I'd use. Where is my Reggie? He's in a raft floating above us. Then why doesn't he come down here and rescue me? It's like a hundred fathoms or something. He'd drown. You're here. I'm special? I'm not certain special is the word I would use. Oh. I'm not sure how to say this, but what was your relationship like? It was a rare thing, like a perfectly formed pearl in the mouth of a clam. Out of morbid curiosity, does he get into the water or do you shimmy up on land? <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. If you're so curious, you can find your own Bacalian. Not that any of us would have you. <laughs> Tempting, but uh, I'll stick with my bipedal plunder bunny. Plunder bunny. You and Winslow were pretty hot and heavy, huh? Weight is negligible underwater. Huh. I think I'm grossed out. I'll be back later. Be careful! Alright, so that was actually good. So now we know she's going to get it for us. We don't have to take over our body to be able to get the locket. Clam! Huh. Uh. Huh. Huh. So, oh, is that water? Air, I mean air, rather. Uh, bubble of air. Air bubble. Um, I think maybe the locket actually allows us to take the corporeal form. That might be the point of it. There's a helmet here. Looks like Takava's helmet found its way out of the manatee in one piece. I wonder if Takava was so lucky. Well, apparently Noogie died. The howler monkey. Forever committed to the salty depths. Okay, anything else of note? Just the moment. Okay. So. Up we go. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. A nipple me is hiding in a cave below your raft. What's this? My skill clad steady is but a few leagues beneath my heart. Right. Ask Anemone to swim to me. Swim to me, my sweetheart! Well, the problem is LeChuck. Anemone's terrified and hiding out until all of this pirate apocalypse mongering blows over. How tragic. Your uh, fishy friend is holed up in the Leviathan's old cave and refuses to leave it. Poor thing. Probably as frightened as a foul hooked haddock. Perhaps you could drop something down to a stemily? Something to show your um, affection? A capital idea! Perhaps a poem, a haiku even! I became a master of the haiku while working on the sashimi islands. Whatever, as long as it sinks. Don't you worry. While waiting for the currents to cooperate, I've been working on a game I've entitled Rock, Paper, Pen. How's it played? Well, paper beats rock. And then, the player must shame the paper into defeat by filling it full of lewd phrases using the pen. Uh, nothing like a good shaming. Anyway, I have all the materials I need to write my dear anemone a haiku. May my sinking stone lift quivering spirits. Okay. 
That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. The question is, is she even going to be able to reach it if she doesn't get out of the cave? Probably not. So we might have to find some way to roll it over to her or something. Yeah, there it is. Love letter. It'd be improper to read someone's personal love letter. Plus, I'm sure it's chock full of more Winslow than I can handle. Hmm. So yeah, let's... I don't think we're going to be able to induce her to leave the cave to get it. Are you still in there, an enemy? As long as Lachak is still alive, I'll be in here. Thank you. Anemone, Winslow dropped a note down to you. It's sitting right over there. Mi amore. Oh, wow, she did it. Wow. How about that? Oh, it it's a love loose. note. <laughs> I'll be back later. Be careful. All right, so that's some progress, some progress. Probably have to go have her go out a few more times or something. The motion of my ocean isn't enough to jostle this seaweed. Oh, it is jostling them. As a ghost, I can't touch it. Maybe I can find a way to get it up to Winslow. Maybe. It is a rockin'. Oh, the clam uh, air bubble? Clam, I think we got off on the wrong foot. But oh, I'm sorry I made light of you not having two feet. Huh. No, open huh. up. Damn it. Aha! Holy clam bubbles! Lock it saved! I say! Captain Threefwood! My beloved has sent me a sign. I must prepare myself for our reunion. Mizzens, I haven't smelled this rotten since languishing in my own filth while doing my time in the hold of Captain Liverbottom's traitor ship. What's that? Deodorant, Captain. Bought from the apothecary in Woodtick, I believe. Woodtick, eh? Winslow, the locket isn't a sign from Anemone. She loved your poem, but I sent that locket up here. I can't touch it, but it's the thing that's going to reunite my ghost with my body. Oh, most important then. Most? Well, I'll hang it here as if it were our map. Remember our map, sir? How Please. could I forget? Let this locket lead you back to your body, the way our map has led us to adventure. Adventure. All right, excellent. The voodoo lady's locket transfers spirits to bodies based on which way that little arrow button is pointing. I can't press it though, but I bet Winslow wouldn't mind helping. I hope not. Or I hope he will. Alright, so we probably have to throw our spirit photo in there. I'll just cover up the voodoo lady. Voila! Excellent. Winslow, a little help? Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old captain? Certainly, sir. <sighs> hmm. But I don't remember my body being this cold. I thought we were buried. Oh, hey! Ah, great jumping gibbets! It's alive! It ain't alive. It's some kind of voodoo zombie. Quick, chop its head off! What? Ooh, wait a second. Don't worry, Your Honor. A good womp in the choppers ought to take care of this one. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Well, anyway, we did get reunited. That's good news. Although, <laughs> I don't know why we're holding up the dart bar. Bring it on, bug juice. Yeah. Oh, no. What? You were right, sir. I think I just had the spirit knocked out of me. Ah, uh, yes, that would explain the girlish scream, sir. Hmm. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. A little help. Oh, so this is going to keep on happening. Well, let's just try Would the you other option. pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Back for another round, zombie boy. Uh. I'm Guybrush Streetwood. I mean to kill you all. <laughs> well, he didn't even try to block him. Back so soon, sir. We have to try all four. Yeah. No time to Maybe I should try a different approach. Maybe, but it's more fun. Oh, take his old brute deodorant. 
Winslow's deodorant. Luckily, my spiritual essence smells of lavender and honey. Ooh. What's this stuff? Those are the pieces I need to... Okay. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir? I think your poem was a hit. Ah, it is an honor to think I may have brought a bit of peace to a frightened heart. I keep getting kicked out of my body. Perhaps you need a new perspective on the situation, sir. I always find it helps to leave for a while, then maybe come at the problem from a different point of view. Maybe it means like a different portal, perhaps. Well, let's, I just want to try... Do you mind pressing the button again? Yeah, there are options. Even though there, I don't think anything's happening. Still... More of the puzzle we need to do, but... Back for another round, zombie boy. You bet. I'm sure we can talk this out. <laughs> All right, one more to go. Nice Welcome back, sir. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Are we wearing like a party round, hat? round, zombie boy. I surrender. You do? Terrific! Off to jail with you. You there. I'll be back shortly. I'm taking this body to the jail. Excellent. Sure. The ladies come calling. I'll tell them that's where you went. Oh, great. I'm in jail. Again. At least we're somewhat here. Been a pirate poster. Is that some kind of poster in there? I can't quite see it from here. A pinup. Wads of chewed gum. Ew. Gross. That other windowsill is covered with chewed gum. Ooh. Come on. How come that cell gets a mug? I'm thirsty too. Okay. Gum stalactite? Whoa. That is one big wad of gum stuck up there. Wow. Okay. Alright, we got a loose brick, which is probably our way out of here. Like Maniac Mansion style. Somebody stashed something behind this loose brick. Or not. It's a diary. Do we maintain our spirit inventory? Dear diary. Well, I am in jail. Apparently, I misunderstood when the mer person I met asked if I needed a lift. I assumed that meant I could ride him all the way into town. Anyway, I'm hiding you for now in case they search me. I don't want anyone knowing my personal inner thoughts. Hmm. What else is in here? Dear diary. Oh, bug eyes. I think that any moment now the manatees will start kissing. I hope I can slip out just as he slips the tongue... Oh, I think I've read enough. <laughs> oh, boy, guy. Oh, wow. Okay, we did maintain our spirit inventory. Interesting. Very interesting. Dear diary. Well, oh, I am wow. in jail. Apparently, I miss on. Anyway, I'm hiding so you. Can you read Dear diary. Okay. Anything over here? Uh-oh. My body is starting to feel all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. This only works for a limited time? No. Oh. Ew, gross. So do we have anything we could reach the gum with? Probably not. I'm not grabbing that with my hook. It'll tarnish it. Tarnish you. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, what happened? I don't know, sir. The locket sparked a couple of times, and before I could say sexy fish, you were back here. Sexy fish? It's an expression, sir. Something I picked up while on my tour of the exotic Limbo Islands. So what you're saying is the effects of the locket are temporary? That does appear to be the case, sir. Well, that's just great. Hey, Stu? Oh, but now we don't have the diary in this world anymore. Interesting. Right, which also means we don't have the hook. Okay. There's probably other things we can do here. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Now, if we get sent... But are we going to go end up in the jail? I think we would end up at the jail because that's where our body is, right? Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. We should be back in the jail. 
So we probably need maybe more spirit. Oh, okay. no, we have How'd my body get back here? Yeah, what the? We came to check on you and found it just laying around. We figured you were dead again, so we just put you back here. Ooh. But it looks like you're acting up again. Ready for another round, zombie boy? Why is there a photo of us there? Also, it said so long, Nipperkin, that killed him. So this is gonna end us up. I surrender. You do? Terrific! Off to jail with you. You there. I'll be back shortly. I'm taking this body to the jail. Sure. The ladies come calling. I'll tell them that's where you went. Yeah, I think we need probably other items to help us here. Because there's nothing anymore in our side of the cell, right? So we need some way to, with the gums, the Loctite, and the mug, and the chewed gum, and so forth. All right. Um... <laughs> Rusty sock. I wonder if we have to combine something. Because I wanted to find a way to reach the gun. Uh-uh. You know. Mm, I don't think so. I think so. All right. So you'd even tarnish the uh, gum stock? I'm not grabbing that with my hook. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to need something else. We didn't explore the spirit world really at all. But we're probably going to have to wait to get back there. How come that cell gets them up? Uh-oh. I feel a depossession coming on. Wow, not much time. Although it could be just, it's like number of items you click on. Uh-oh. I'm losing possession of my body again. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. All right, yeah, let's try going to some other areas here. Only mildly, only mildly inconvenient. Anything new with uh, Galeb here? Hi, Galeb. Oh, hello again. No. See you later, Galeb. Sure. Anything's possible. Anything is. All right, so let's go to the uh, Sword Mastery. I want Morgan is still there, maybe. Although she did leave, maybe she went back. Sword. Crap. Fool Treepwood, what have you done? Ah, talking crabs! Why did you open the crossroads? With the barriers shattered, Lichuk is now beyond all control, plundering voodoo energy directly from the spirit realm. Thanks to you, reality itself could unravel like a cheap rug. Me? What about you, Miss All-Knowing, All-Seeing, Voodoo Puppet Mistressy Person? Why didn't you warn me that LeChuck had nefarious plans for La Esponja Grande? I'm afraid LeChuck made fools of us all this time, Guybrush. But hope is not yet lost. Well, he didn't fool me. In fact, I'm already working on a plan to possess my body. So they can't zap me with root beer again when I go back. Yes, the voodoo root beer only affects spiritual manifestations in the physical realm. If you can manage to repossess your body, you may yet be able to use Lechak's weapon against him. You mean the Cutlass of Kaplu? You must figure that out for yourself. Go now, find your body, find a way for your spirit to possess it. But remember, rebinding a soul to a body is not as simple as taking yourself over. You're rebelling against the natural state of things, and the universe will push back. Once you have possessed your body, you'll have to find a more permanent way to bind it to your soul. I recommend Nyx and Mojo brand Spirit Gum. It can create a powerful spiritual bond that will bring your restless spirit and body together in harmony. It's also delicious. It comes in lemon, cherry, and mutton flavors. I always have some with me. Can you give some? Give me some of that spirit gum. I cannot risk coming out of hiding to aid you, Guybrush. But I was chewing some when I was imprisoned back on Flotsam. I may have left some back in the jail cell. Remember, spirit gum contains some ingredients from the spirit realm, so it retains some ghostly properties. Be careful with it. I must go now, Guybrush. It is too dangerous for me to let my true whereabouts be known. Ugh. Well, I hope this is just a phase she's going through. Okay, so that confirms why we want the gum. So we need to get spirit gum to bind spirit with body. 
from the jail cell, but the question is how do we reach it? Not to be finding out. Okay, before we go through this rip, let's just see who is up there. Nobody? Uh, Morgan? Hello? Where'd she go? Can we grab this sword, though? No? We're in the spirit world, though. We should be able to take anything. No, can't do anything up here. Oh, too bad. Alright, back down to the boom. Yes, mush and gum sounds delightful. Okay, where does this take Whoa. us? This whole jumping between realms thing is gonna take some getting used to. Hey you, pipe down. We're in the middle of a pirate wake here. A what? Oh, yup, that's me. This is a pretty disappointing wake. Yeah, well, LeChuck's killing spree may have hindered the turnout a bit. And why am I posed like that? It's zany. The customers love it. What? That's exactly the way I remember you. How did Bug Eye get out of the manatee? Guybrush's corpse. Hey, how'd my body get back here? We came to check on you and found it just laying around. We figured you were dead again, so we just put you back here. The bullseye hasn't seen any action in quite some time. A testament to Judge Grindstump's assassin-like focus. My body is perfectly positioned for another root beer shower. Great. Interesting. Well, at least someone thought to get a nice wreath for my wake. What, that? Ah, it was brought in as kindling when we decided to burn your body. Oh. <laughs> and reuse from Davy Nipperton's funeral. Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty. Kindling. Hyper flammable mourner's kindling. All right, so that might come in use if we could use a candle or some such. Hi there. Captain Threepwood, as I live and breathe. Don't rub it in. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Oh, oh no, that is again. Yeah, uh, quit that. You aren't scary! You just screwed up my concentration! Root beer. Yikes! I better not stand under that. I don't want it splashing down on me. Interesting. Why? Well, if we do that, we're just gonna go back to the other realms. It doesn't see how that really helps us. Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back! Please stop throwing darts at me. What do you care? You're dead! But I need my body. I'm not done with it. Sorry! <laughs> Just be grateful that I'm not a very good shot. True. Hmm. Bet things have been pretty quiet in the old courthouse since I heroically gave my life to cure the pox of LeChuck. It's true! Without that LeChuck and pox voodoo poison coursing through our veins, flotsam citizens have returned to their usual roguish yet not entirely evil ways. LeChuck and pox? Great name. Why didn't I think of that? But with LeChuck on the loose, the crime rate is going through the roof! He did things to poor old Crimp Digit that we don't even have names for yet! Oh. Oh man, did he kill <clears throat> uh, Crimp Digit too? Why is LeChuck committing undefined acts of evil on the citizens of Flotsam? He thinks we're hiding that voodoo lady, Chippy, and he won't take no ouch stop stabbing me for an answer! So, are you hiding the voodoo lady? Absolutely not! That witch is nothing but trouble with a capital T, and that rhymes with V, and that stands for voodoo. So, ever seen a ghost before? Have I ever? I'm a judge, laddie! My every waking hour is haunted by the harrowing curses of the despicable reprobates I've sent to the gallows. To be frank, your cheery spirit is something of a welcome respite. Yeah, I'm much more of an existential crisis ghost than a mind-numbing horror spirit. All that wailing really does a number on your throat. True. Give me a drink, Grind Stump. I am afraid your bar privileges expired when you did three oh. wood. In your next life, try to settle your debts before you get killed, hmm? Can't you take it up with our estate? Talk to you later. Yo, Bug Eye! What do you want, Pipsqueak? Ooh, 
I'm a ghost! Aren't you guys scared of me? Well, you weren't very threatening while you were alive, and I'm afraid the new pirate ghost thing isn't helping. So, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I don't want to talk about it. No, no, let me guess. You ignited the gases in the stomach, which resulted in a catastrophic explosion, destroying everything within a 25-mile radius? And yet, here I am, without a scratch on me. So was I right? You're an idiot. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, pipsqueak? Seriously, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I said I don't want to talk about it. I bet I can guess. You took the gross out subway again, didn't you? Wrong. Now buzz off. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, pipsqueak? Come on. How did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I really do not want to talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and guess. You dressed up like a throat grub and snuck out through the blowhole? Manatees don't have blowholes. Plus, that's really stupid. Now leave me alone. I don't like your questions, and I don't like you. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, pipsqueak? You gotta tell me how you got out of the manatee and ended up on Flotsam. What part of don't want to talk about it didn't you understand? No, no, let me guess. Hmm, perhaps you waited around until the mating ritual, made your way to the tongue, and escaped when the manatee went in for the kiss. Hey, who told you that? That's private information. And once free from the manatee, you... <laughs> oh, okay, wow, so we actually do it from the diary. I think you rode the mer person to Flotsam, didn't you? Befriended a mer person who you ended up riding all the way to the shores of Flotsam. That's impossible! No one knows about that! Look at me! I'm Bug Eye. I like to get in on manatee makeout sessions and ride merfolk around. <laughs> Are you mocking me, boy? Uh-oh. We gotta do that face. Shit. No! Oh, okay. At least we can see it back there. Is that the is that the gomer? No, meanie. Okay, meanie. Stinky. No, we need the one, the rolling eye. We... Oh right, it's two of these. So one of, well, let's see. Yeah, the left side is stinky, but then it's like moving around. Yeah, tweaking. There we go. The stinky tweaking meanie. Ah, does it look like I'm mocking you? I'm Big Bad Bug Eye. I keep a girly diary. I wish I had hair so I could put it up in curls. Let's just see how that face looks with my fist shoved in it. Oof. All right, that's enough. I think you need some time to calm down, lad. It's off to the drunk tank for you. And you, Excellent. don't slime up the place while I'm gone. Oh, so now we'll be put in the other jail cell with the gun. I'll just leave him there until he cools off. You do that. Excellent. Blindfold. That's the blindfold I wore back when I had my first bar fight here. Although, technically, it was my pox-infested hand that did most of the fighting. Ah, good old Lefty. I hope he's happy, wherever he is. <laughs> Lefty. Okay. So we might have to come back when, maybe when we're physical again, we can come back. The here. once screaming narwhal. Good night, Prince of the Deep. Is that a regular sized manatee or a baby giant manatee? Hmm. Tub. Can we go to the bathroom? I don't need to use the facilities right now. Buffet is no longer a thing. Skull candle is still is. There's the monkey up here, shock. I'm Murray, the demonic candelabra. Tremble before my wax-caked forehead. <laughs> you know, I kind of miss that guy. Kind of. Who doesn't miss Murray? Hey, it's Jacques the monkey. Hey, little guy. Huh. I wonder why his eyes are all funky again. Oh, no, Jacques. Skeleton. That nobody calls him the life of the party. hey -o! I wonder if it's the same guy. Well, this isn't the scum bar, though, from from Monkey I or uh, from Melee Island. If it were, I'd say it's like the guy from Monkey Island, one who's still up there, the secret monkey. Island. Should be hilarious. I wonder what happened to um, what's her name, Bosun Krebs. A keg of grog. 
If not carefully stored, it'll go skunky. Not that anyone would taste the difference. Hmm. Okay. Barrel of yellow. Manang. It's like grog for monkeys, and a leading cause of simian diabetes. Oh no. Oh, and rug. Yes. Hiya, rug. Okay. Um. Let's see if there's anything we want hey, to. WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. No, nothing new there. Okay. Talk to you later. All right. Very good. Very good. So I imagine we have to get here in the physical realm, but I just want to see how much we can do as a spirit. Oh, I can't make the doorknob turn. Oh, right. Stupid ghostly limitations. Well, couldn't you walk through the door, though? I thought you could walk through the door. This is no time to play the fool. All right. Well, we could... We could go to the other two areas here. I mean, eh, I guess let's let's just get the gum since I think we I think we should be able to do that now. If we go back here, go through the rift on this side, go with the locket and everything. Because then when we get taken ourselves, we'll be taken to the. Uh, the right jail cell, since the left one will be occupied by Bug Eye. I don't know why that one takes so long to load. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Although this time Bug Eye is not going to try to attack us. I'm back! Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself! Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies! Bring on Grand Rump? Well, actually, I want to see him punch us. Let's just do it just see how he punches us. Bring it on, Grand Rump. Cash register through it. That's great. Welcome back, sir. That was definitely worth seeing. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. We're going to have to do something with that deodorant. Do you mind pressing the button point. again? Certainly, sir. I'm back. Hold your ground. Okay. I surrender. You do? Terrific. Off to jail with you. Bug guy. We're neighbors. Shut your cheese hole, zombie boy. You're the reason I'm in here, you know. All right, all right, I'll keep it down. I wonder why he was in prison to begin with, because obviously that's why he kept the diary there. How you doing over there, neighbor? <laughs> all right, can get this gun. Okay, I can't believe I'm actually about to do this. Oh, disgusting. It tastes like earwax. Nope, that didn't do anything. Guess that wasn't the spirit gum. All right, what about the stalactite? The stalactite of gum looks pretty fresh. Hmm. Dust, spit, and just a hint of lavender. Otherwise, it's completely tasteless. Oh, it was not the spirit gum? Can you take this mug? Free Guybrush Threepwood! Free Guybrush Threepwood! No new taxes! Down with porcelain! Hey, lay off the banging or I'm gonna shove that mug up your blowhole! Free Guybrush Threepwood! Free Guybrush Threepwood! <laughs> oh. This just isn't the same. Uh-oh. My body is starting to Damn feel it. all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Hit up the poster before we go. Hey, look at that! A gaping round hole in the wall. The voodoo lady must have escaped through this. Convenient. Well, that's good, but... Ah, sweet lady freedom. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get the gun. Welcome Here. back, sir. You know, every time I pass out in the jail, they haul my body back to the bar and redecorate it. You think I should go back as a ghost and check on my body? Hmm. Yeah. Who knows what strange party favors they'll dress my body up in next. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Winslow. Certainly, sir. Greetings, sir. Well, greetings. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's check out the other areas in the spirit world. So it seems like neither of the 
Neither the wads on the sill nor the stalactite were the spirit gum. Or wait a minute, do we have? No, we don't have any with us. That we might have to join. Well, maybe in our physical inventory. We'll see. Yeah, exactly right, Tracker. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Welcome back, friend. Yeah, so we want to check out these two things because we probably need some stuff here to help us. Is there a rip here too? Is going to be another question. Excuse me. What is it, friend? I think I broke the crossroads. Have you noticed any tears in the fabric of reality in here? Maybe behind one of these old trinkets? Can't say that I have, friend. Oh, okay. There's something, uh... Ooh, where? So we still have to steal stuff? Really? Why, I don't see anything over here. The sextants, the urns, the scrolls, and the. Are you sure you meant peg legs? Alright. Maybe if I try squinting. Swipe. Okay, time to go, friend. Oh, right. All right, so I'm kind of going to worry about this. Till then, next time, friend. Unless we have a reason to. All right, let's head up the treasure hunt. Okay, there is a rip here. Let's talk to uh, not Dooro, I guess, to see if there's anything going on with him. How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! So let me get this straight. There's a fabulous pirate treasure under each and every one of these X's? What? You still got grave dirt in your ears? Try it yourself! We yeah, already have. So it might have something still have something to do with those pi uh I have to get those pirate pyrites deals. Pyrite parrots. <laughs> okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm gonna get. Stupid cursed whispery parrot. Although we still have no I don't know what we'd be using them for. We know we have to collect them in the tip jar. The problem is we can't get close enough to do it. That's been the problem. Oh, come on. Well, we confirmed before that don't that was the problem. It. Damn inventory thing. All right, let's see where this takes us. Ah, we're in the jungle. We got a treasure chest and a monkey. Hmm. Oh, shoot. It's too dark to actually see what's in here. So much for ghost powers. Shouldn't we be illuminating it? Waste on our phone. Oh, uh, so maybe we need lightning bugs in there? Maybe. Dead seagull on oh. a seagull feather. Another hypnotized monkey. Oh. So what's with this dead seagull? Morbid. I don't even have the bodily strength to lift a feather. Oh, uh, so we have to come here in our real body, I guess. Interesting. Okay, and we can't travel anywhere. All right, so we got... Uh, Treasure chest, seagull, feather, and then hypnotized monkey. All right. So at least we kind of know what to expect. Um, all right, can we, can we just dig with the jar to get the parrots to begin with? Probably not. Nah. It's worth it. Quick try. Alright. So, the weird thing is, it seems to be the gum. It seems to be the problem. Let's see. Is this look at us? Yeah, we have to go back to the gateway. Hmm. 
So why wasn't neither of the gum was there? We just have to search for the gum better, I guess. Oh, there's also, let me write down the deodorant. Although I don't know how we get there as with our actual... Oh, I guess when we bind it, we should be able to go back and forth at, with our body. Okay. So let's say uh, Winslow's deodorant. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Oh, we have the mug this time. I'm back! Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself! Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies! So this might be something with, um... Once we were able to ask him about the, uh... We'll be able to get root beer this way, I guess. We'll eventually be able to get root beer. When he throws the darts at us. But we have to be in a ghost form for that. Hmm... Yeah, we definitely have to just get our spirit, the spirit come to bind us to solve this problem. All right, so get root beer with the mug. Okay. I surrender. And then the you blindfold too, probably. Terrific! Off to jail with you. Blindfold will also be a thing. Okay, so wands of chewed gum. Entirely flavorless gum stalactite escape tunnel. Denmark. Can we like hook into this? I'm not grabbing that. No. So where is there any other gum here? Hmm. Now if we just go in the escape not tunnel. Again. Okay. So trying to leave gets you through. Welcome back, sir. Alright, good to know. We confirmed that. Mr. Winston. Yes, sir. Would you mind? I almost Certainly. want to save there just so we don't have to keep on going. Looping back around. Yeah, I think we'll save there. I'm back. Hold your ground or I'll take you down, Miss. I surrender. You do? Uh, is there a way to get the root beer flowing? In physical form? Alright, let's save here. Kybersh enlists the help of Winslow, an enemy, and a clam to recover Dekava's locket, the key to possessing his own body. Using the spirit photo with the locket allowed Kybersh to possess his own body, but the effects are only temporary. So how do we get the gum? That's the question. So there's only escape tunnel, wads of chewed gum, and gum, entirely flavorless gum stalactite. No thanks. It's completely flavorless and not spirit gum. Okay. Oh, and it's already been in someone else's mouth. And the same with the wads. What? Oh, he's trying that mm, Sour milk. That's a taste that's gonna linger. So we just have to do it until we get the right wad? Ugh, vile and squid ink. This certainly isn't spirit gum. Yeah, he's just gotta try them all, I guess. This one had a tooth in it! I'm never gonna find the spirit gum this way. <laughs> Gross. Alright, so we gotta do something to the gum. This isn't spirit gum. This tastes like cat litter. Alright, so what can we do to the gum? Mm. Nothing really makes too much sense. Fill it with two tin gum. Nope. Yeah. Maybe we gotta ask uh, the blue lady again. Blueberry. I don't care for blueberry. And it's not the spirit gum. Well, let's keep on doing it until loop for see the various flavors, I guess. Hmm. Rotten clam flavor. No spirit gum here. Yeah. Turkey and mashed potatoes? Delicious. In gum form? Not so much. Could be could be good. Could be good. I think this is chocolate and Pickle flavored. Ugh, poo. Mm. Ugh, vile and squid. Okay. So it looks like it might randomize. Uh oh. Just... I feel a depossession coming on. We got looped back. Alright, let's start our load again. 
So we need a way to identify the gum among the wads. May I borrow a cup of sugar? <laughs> Do you like how I decorated the place before you got there? <laughs> I think your dog was on my lawn again last night. <laughs> how you doing over there, neighbor? <laughs> May I borrow? Okay, we, <laughs> we looped him. Um. Nope. Yeah, so maybe we just need another item to come back here with. I have to probably think back. It's probably something she said about the flavor. Mm, no. Uh, I don't remember what she said exactly is the problem. So yeah, maybe we can go back to the sword place and see. Ah, sweet lady freedom. Let's see if we can talk. Uh oh. Hey, morning, Kira. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna write down Jacques to hypnotize monkey Jacques. Are you sure we uh, we don't need any more grog, right? It's all out. Oh right, the <laughs> the build didn't go in there. I think the rest of my bills are too wrinkly for the machine. Oh well. I'm pretty sure everything is sold out anyway. <laughs> Alright, we're good with the crack machine. Um, I did, I did, Kira. How about yourself? Pretty impressive uh, setup she had there. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's see if we can get, talk to if the crabs show up again or no. No, the voodoo lady crabs don't show up. Damn. Alright, did this one go to the bar? Uh, it might have, in which case, maybe we can do something with that root beer. Get the, uh, get the root beer flowing. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Shh. I be trying to concentrate here. Oh, but we don't have the, uh, so the problem is we don't have the mug now since we're a ghost. But we want to get the group here maybe as a zombie. But maybe if we can just set this up flowing and then go back. My body is perfectly positioned for another root beer shower. Great. Question is, why do we want that? Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Oh, I wonder, what, do we have to do the same? One that we did against what's his name? Yeah, uh, quit that. You aren't scary. You just screwed up my concentration. Oh, the other mug. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Mug full of spirit melting root beer. A mug full of root beer. Now all I need is some ice cream, and my corpse will be able to enjoy a cool, refreshing root beer float. Okay. Um, I mean, R. Somebody best be filling this mug with grog. So maybe we pour that on the wads of gum and the one that's the spirit gum will dissolve and head to the spirit world. That might be what has to happen here. So we'll try that out. All right, well, good timing. We'll pause for buys. Let's also uh, check in on time gifts this year. What are we at? 2042. Whoa. Pop, pop. Oh, Kasu redeemed double time guess. Okay. You're in range now. The question is whether we can beat the game in the next uh, couple hours here. We know Douthy is no longer eligible so if the game ended now Christensen would be your big winner but with a half hour curve for everyone but 
We'll see what happens. All right, Starship Titanic. Cross is 300 slot pies. Oh, we got a double, double flag. That's not good. There we go. All right, let's call for our buys. Okay, let's get back into it then. Uh, so we just got back here. So now we want to go back into zombie form, I guess. And see if we get hauled off to jail with Munga Root Beer, whether we can then use it on the spirit gum. Oh, please move, please move. Having in this scene is a little weird. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. He's okay. I'm back. Hold your ground. Okay. I sur You do. So let's try the root beer on the wads of gum. Let's see how spirit gum Excellent. reacts to a little root beer. Ooh, that brings back unpleasant memories. Now this is delicious and tingly and hey keep it down over there whoa now that is spirit gum all right we got it very nice okay i've already found the spirit gum so no i will not be chewing any more pre mouthified gum what about the gum selected no thanks it's completely okay all right, so let's all right, go. corpsey body. Let's go get that cutlass of Kaflu, save Elaine, and take down the Chuck once and for all. Hey, don't you leave me here. Come on, at least give me some gum. <laughs> you want some chewed up gum? Ha-ha! Oh. I'm back, LeChuck. Back here. Now that I have my root beer proof and only slightly rotting body again, I can touch anything I want. So get ready to be touched. To death! Sharp, pointy death. Finally! Ouch! How big you that stings! <laughs> Do you think I'm some kind of dolt, Freepwood? Dolt? This sword now has enough demonic power in it to bring down a god. Did you think we'd let you get your mortal hands on it? Seriously, who uses the word dolt anymore? With yeah. just one swipe, that sword could completely obliterate your body. I do wish you hadn't made such a pest of yourself. I wanted you alive to see me marry Elaine. Then why'd you I kill told us? you a million times, LeChuck. I'm already married Till to... Till death do you part, Freepwood. And that part has already been taken care of. Elaine, my dear, please dispose of this irritating corpse. With pleasure. Sweetie, stop! It's me! What? Winslow! Good news, sir! I found the map! Mr. Winslow! How did Buckeye get out of jail? How dare you! 
I have a wedding ceremony to plan, a dress to pick out, a reception to arrange, and some bridesmaids to slaughter. I don't have time for this. Governor or a pitiful pirate? Stupid sponge. I liked you better when you were smaller. Smaller? I've got to shrink that sponge. <laughs> this is marvelous. You really think you still have a chance? Go ahead. Give it your best shot. I'll even give you a head start. Just know this. There is nowhere you can go where I cannot find you. <laughs> Listen up, Sponge. It's time you lost some weight. I still have my Feast of the Senses spell in my body. I just need to find someone who can help me reverse it. Hmm, interesting. Okay. All right. So now we have to shrink the sponge. Shrink la sponja. So yeah, we still do have this. It's the Feast of the Senses spell I once used to make la sponja grande big. I need to find someone who can help me reverse the spell. Okay. By the way, what happens, I mean, this isn't, he's not gonna refuse to do this, just wanna see what he says if we try to seal the rip with the Shred of Life. If I close the crossroads now, I'll not only sacrifice my last Shred of Life, but also everyone on the other side with LeChuck. Okay, yeah, he refuses to do it. Okay, so who can help us reverse the spell? Galeb, the thief, treasure hunter, Morgan was missing. Uh, I kinda wanna go back though and take care of that treasure chest though, if we can. Go through that rip. While we're here, we'll just confirm the treasure hunter is not going to help us. Hey, run. How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! Yeah, okay, bye. We still probably do need those pyrite parrots, but yeah, we're going to have to do probably another series of reversing the six things to make the sponge smaller. So we probably got our work cut out for us, I would think. Let's see what we can do with the dead seagull and everything. Oh, seagull's alive. Tree board. Whoa, oh. Nelly. The spirit binding must be messing with my head. It's the voodoo lady. Hello, Guybrush. Ah, you can do that too? I'm sorry, but I must still conceal my whereabouts and communicate through the vessels of nature's works. You picked a dead seagull? A perfect place to go unnoticed. I can't help but think the advantages of flight could be more useful. So I need to shrink the sponge. I have the Feast of the Senses, but I don't want to make it any bigger. The opposite, in fact. I'm sorry. I didn't take Voodoo Spell Reversals 201 at Hexer's Community College. Well then, Guybrush. Yes? Ask around. What the heck am I, anyway? I feel one step removed from a zombie. You are no stranger to the reanimation of corpses. You are now familiar with a form that LeChuck has known so well. So you're saying I'm a zombie? Defining such states is folly in the realm of voodoo. I'm a zombie. If you insist. Is there anything else I should know about being a zombie? Are you flush with zombie advice? Your true form is not lost. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. But such powerful reanimation is outside of the realm of voodoo. It requires something much more rare. A four-headed monkey? Hmm. But I'm afraid I don't know either. The spirit must be compelled to reconstitute itself. That is all I can share. I'm having a hard time getting over this dead seagull thing. You must realize that oftentimes in life, it is not where the message comes from, but the message itself. But it's gross. I'm sure you've heard by now, but Elaine is a demon bride of LeChuck. Your wife's ways are her own, her fate compelled by unknown forces. Yeah, she's a bit of a loose cannon. For once, I agree with you, Treepwood. Oh, look at that. Aside from joining my archenemy, I generally appreciate the sass. 
Be careful, Guybrush. You must make your own choices, for Elaine does not trust in the ways of voodoo. She doesn't. Your ways of voodoo have really done a number on me lately. The ebb and flow of the tides of our suffering cannot be controlled. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to chap your hide? I am not your enemy, Treepwood. In fact, I have most likely saved you from yourself. Yeah, right. Tell that to my shambling mess of a body here. Ever since LeChuck got a hold of your diary, he's really had it in for you. The Dread Pirate LeChuck is not one for nuances. You know this, Guybrush. Back on Flotsam, though, he seemed pretty convinced you were evil. What else happened back on Flotsam? Did he not slaughter you and your friend Morgan Le Fay in cold blood? LeChuck is mad as usual. I do not blame him for his anger towards me, or towards you. It is expected and beyond his control. You're saying LeChuck is just being LeChuck? Yes. Hmm. Hey, Morning Marvel. I have a semi-voodoo-related question. How come when I opened the crossroads, I could pass through, but Morgan couldn't? Maybe you still have some connection to the physical world that you are clinging to. Indeed. What, you mean my shred of life? Then that means LeChuck kept a shred of life when he died too. Perhaps. Who is to say if the shred was his own? Yeah, so maybe we have to get the shred of life, whatever shred of life he's holding on to. Why should I believe any of this? Fine, you don't have to. I'll be going then. Whoa, whoa, you don't have to go. I have said all I can at this time. Good luck, Guybrush. Do not let the forces of ill will or the ignorance of others knock you from your path. Wait! I believe you! Ah, oh, man! Yeah, she didn't exactly tell us how to reverse the spell. I guess she said ask around. But... Hey, voodoo lady! Come on back! The seagull's not that gross! <laughs> Take her. Dead bird feather. Gross. So, we combined everything to before with the sponge in our inventory, so I guess we're going to have to throw it in the sponge, probably at the crossroads, with whatever items we need. This is probably the smell. <clears throat> Maybe the feather is like feel or something? We'll have to figure it out. All right, can we get into the chest now? Is it locked? We have the hook, though. Oh, what a surprise. It's locked. We got our hook. Hook it up. Looks like somebody was on their way to a LeChuck dress-up contest. Treepwood! Yeah, stop doing that! In there, you will find some of the things that allowed LeChuck to get so close to your beloved Elaine. Oh? What? I don't think I want to look in there anymore. LeChuck's human form was most impressive, but we can all use the help of voodoo from time to time. I think I'm set in the voodoo department. If it's trust you seek, LeChuck's belt should do nicely. Don't you find it strange that LeChuck left this stuff out here in the open? I think he'd want to get rid of it. LeChuck is careless. So I see. The dead bird is not helping me trust her more. <laughs> I think we should get Marble a, a seagull. Pet seagull. Okay, what did we pick up? Oh, his charming belt buckle. It's the belt buckle that Chuck wore when he was human. Funny how a smiling face always seems trustworthy, even on a skull. A feather, ready to deliver the tiniest tickly touch. Yeah, touch. And this is probably smell. Ugh, well, Chuck's sock is really putrid. Maybe I can put it to good use by torturing people for information with it. That would be amusing. Anything with the monkey? Huh, another hypnotized monkey. So I wonder, what can we do with the monkeys? Can we tickle him? As much as I'd like to, I can't just walk around tickling everyone I see. Oh. Nothing in the chest, right? I've got all the LeChuck trinkets I need out of this ominously convenient box. <laughs> ominously convenient, indeed. All right, so let's see if we can go back to the crossroads and, um... Ooh. But you may as well give up. You don't scare me, LeChuck. Oh, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just going to kill you. Well, I was going through the rib anyway. Thanks for the assist, Blitchuck. Hmm. Slightly strange. Uh, do we have anything to help us catch the pirate parrots? 
I don't think so. I didn't get anything new there. So let's go to the crossroads and see if we have the items, or at least a couple of the items we need to reverse the spell. They eat all your discarded french fries, Marvel? I'm not gonna start throwing all my stuff at that sponge unless I know it'll do some good. I thought the idea is we think it will do some good. I'm not gonna start. I guess we don't know. I'm not gonna start. All right, fine, fine. So it looks like we still have to like find someone to talk it's to. It's the to feast of the stuff. census spell I once used to make La Esponja Grande big. I need to find someone who can help me reverse the spell. All right, so apparently that someone is not the voodoo lady. Uh, I guess let's try Galeb. If not, we could try Winslow. And there's also the thief, and uh, I think that might be it. Or I guess it could be WP or someone in the physical world. I have a feeling it'd be on this side, but I don't know. Anything with the water? It's wet and slimy. It reminds me of my old pet salamander, Mr. Wiggly. Everybody loves Mr. Wiggly. Hi, Caleb. Oh, hello again, Dry Rub. It's Guybrush. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you help me reverse this spell? You said you were a connoisseur of the occult, right? Yeah. Beast of the senses. Trying to watch your figure, eh, Porky? Damn right. No, it's not for me, obviously. It's for... Don't worry, carnivorous wood. Oh, come on. That doesn't even sound like three foot. Losing weight is easy if you follow a strict diet. Here. Try this. No, I don't need a diet. I... Never mind. Mmm. <clears throat> diet of the senses. Nice. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest Blindfold. mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. A light touch for an appetizer. Oh, stay feather. true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. I'm a thief. Fight the smell of the after dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. The gum. Okay, so we need blindfold. Let's make a list. So we need uh, uh, blindfold. Sound so petite it is barely heard. That might be the pirate parrots. I'm guessing that's my best guess at the moment. The touch is the feather, which we have. Uh, six cents. Uh, okay, the secret from the thief, yeah. The smell, the eliminate odor. So it might have to do something with the sock, but we have to neutralize the sock. So yeah, the smell is the biggest question. Um, something like an air freshener kind of thing. And then the taste so bland would be the gum that we have to go back and get, probably. All right, thank you, Galeb. Why am I here? Um, so let's go Let's go at least the two items that we have, or one item, we have the feather. Let's at least try putting that in just to confirm. Let's see if that work matters. Where'd what come from? Okay, feather. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Oh, you just saw it. Gale just gave it to us. Yes, okay. There we go. So there's the feather. And then this would not count as the sock, then. Uh-uh. We have to figure out how the uh, the belt is going to come into play, though. Okay. All right, so how do we get the secret? Now that we have a reason to get the secret... Actually, probably the, the easiest thing to get right now would be the blindfold, I would think. So let's just go in that rip. Because that should be straightforward from the bar. We could get that easily. Probably the gum, too, come to think of it. Oh, actually, we have to go there as a ghost, though. How else do we get the blind... How do we stay in the bar without getting hauled to jail? Hmm. Maybe they'll allow us to leave the, through the escape tunnel, not auto travel out. <laughs> Oh, but we're not reanimating the body, so maybe it's okay. Interesting. All right, so we can get the blindfold this way. Nice. All right, grab the blindfold. That'll be for sight. How come there's only one of these? I thought all probationary members had to wear blindfolds. 
Probationary members? There are no probationary members here. But your bouncer said... Oh, that rock rib. Always good for a laugh. Mm. <laughs> we just got trolled the entire time. All right, so we got the blindfold. Um, let's see, we don't need... We got the feather, treasure chest. Oh, oh the deodorant. The deodorant is going to be used for the smell. Right, for with Winslow. Okay. Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. What? How so? You're not even... There's no more dartboard. So we need the deodorant. I need to shrink La Esponja Grande with this voodoo spell. Seen any of these items around? I outgrew scavenger hunts long ago. And normal-sized pants, apparently. Hmm. Hey, I have a smashing idea. You're in a bar that's literally built out of random sea flotsam. Maybe you should take a look around. We already did. All right, yeah, take us to jail so we can get the gun. I surrender. Take me to jail. For what? For kidnapping my own body. Good enough. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how Bug Eye got loose. Yeah, loose. Can we take this? A for taste? taste so bland, there is nothing to savor. This is no time. This to play ABC gum should fit the bill. Excellent. All right, got the gum. Hmm. I guess I'll head back to the bar. Oh, they're not giving us free brain walking around. <laughs> through the back, through the toilet. Towel, sir. Thanks. Back in my regular digs, only slightly worse for wear, considering. Okay, so let's try going to the through that other rip to get the um, the deodorant. So I'm going to have to find out how to get the secret from the thief. Hopefully that's not too puzzly. We'll see. I wonder if that's... Because last we saw Winslow was on, got the narwhal back and was battling the ship. So I don't know whether the... Hopefully the raft is still there. I don't know how we... I can never get through these damned... They really like messed up the navigation of this scene. Score! Oh, thank you for the bit, Anonymous Jerry. All right, so let's go through this rip. There we go. Okay, grab the dude. Old Brute, dude. Old Brute, the pirate alternative to bathing. This might help stave off that fresh corpse smell I'm starting to notice. Indeed. Oh, Jacques is gone. Do we need any of these rocks and paper? Winslow's game props. I guess he gave up on it. Oh. Okay. So we got the deodorant and the gum. Whoa! Yeah, the, the one I'm not sure about is the sound, uh, is the hearing, the sound. I'm thinking that's the pirate parrots because they're they're like small and therefore low. But anyway, let's turn in what we have so far. And then we'll try the uh, secret. Okay, so gum. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. There you go, sponge. Chew on this for a while. Excellent. All right, deodorant. Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. Fights odor and wetness for the active pirate. And sponges. Okay, and then blindfold, Club 41. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. This blindfold ought to do the trick. Okay, good. So there's three more. So now we need um, hearing and I guess the sixth sense, which would be the secret. So let's try getting the secret. It's probably the easier of the two. Rice cakes, hey sir. Welcome back, friend. Thank you, thief. No, not the chair. Secret. How'd you manage to? 
Funny story. I was running. No, 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 no one cares. Ah! So it turns out that I actually need a secret to shrink a giant voodoo sponge. Can I take it? No. You can't even steal it. It has to be shared with you. How okay. so? Share it with me. I don't know, friend. You don't seem like the kind of person I can trust with a secret like this. Sure I am. I still haven't told anyone that Elaine waxes her upper lip. Oh, ah, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> but you're a thief, friend. Everyone knows you can't trust a thief. So are you, though. Excuse me. What is it, friend? I need stuff to shrink a giant voodoo sponge. Have you seen any of these ingredients? Hmm. Well, I do have this old secret lying around here somewhere. What kind of secret? Shh. Mm. What? It's a secret. <laughs> okay. There's something, uh... Ooh, where? So he said we couldn't steal it, but I'm gonna obviously I have to try to anyway. What? No. Secrets aren't meant to be here. stolen. Damn it. So, and we can't trade the secrets either? Are you sure you meant behind me? Mm. Alright, so just take a random Pepper. thing. Maybe if I try a squid oh, time to kick go. Us out, though. Oh, right. Alright, so. Hmm. Let me I gotta probably talk to him about that again. Till next. Because I wasn't quite so sure. He said it can't be stolen or shared, or it has to be shared, but then he says we can't trust a thief. So I guess we have to not be a thief? Excuse me. What is it, friend? All right, okay, none of this well, will work. Keep up the good work. Oh, I am, friend. Me. Come on, share your secret with me. I won't tell anyone. I'm afraid I just don't find you trustworthy enough. So how do we earn his trust? Oh, maybe. Oh, I know. We tell him to look around, but then we don't actually take anything. Excuse me. What is it, friend? There's something, uh... Ooh, where? Okay, maybe then. Okay, well, we can't talk I to him again, so maybe... anything over here. How do we get him not to... Maybe we just have to leave? Are you sure you meant behind? Okay, he's like, huh, what? Come on, share your secret with me. I won't tell anyone. I'm afraid I just don't Damn. find you trustworthy enough. Come on, man. All right. Uh... Still don't know how this belt... This probably must be used in the final confrontation somehow. Apparently, it's a voodoo charm that helped make people trust the Chuck when he was human. Oh. Never fooled me, though. Nope. Not me. Never fooled for even one minute. Okay, then. Make people trust him. Take a look at this. Nice find, friend. Did you steal that yourself? I did. I snatched it right off LeChuck's belt. Hmm. I trust that you did. See? Yeah? Trust. What if I told you that I stole this from a three-headed mermaid who had come here from the future riding a giant space turtle? I trust you, friend. If you say it's true, then I believe you. Thank you, sir. Now you can share a secret with us. Nice secret you've got there. Care to share it with me? Mm. Normally I wouldn't trust a thief like yourself, he will remember but there that. is just something about you. Oh, that's just the enchanted voodoo charm talking. What? Uh, Wizard Man, thank you for the six months. Appreciate it, Wizard Man. How's it going? Happy Sunday. That pirate thief stole my voodoo trust charm. He's good. Nah, we don't need it anymore because we got the secret. Shh. It's a secret. All right. Excellent. All right, so let's go turn that in. Good luck with... Come back soon, friend. Why secretly enjoy... Apparently you don't... You just enjoy it, Servo, because you told us, so it's no longer a secret. Okay, so let's do secret on... Last one. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. One sponge shrinking secret coming up. All right, there we go. So we got one more, which is hearing. I think it's the power parrots would be my guess, best guess, but it could be something else. Hmm. Diet of the senses. 
The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word, a sound so petite it is barely heard. The only other things of note are the hypnotized monkeys. Um, so yeah, let's, I guess we'll try it. Or not the hypnotized monkeys, I mean the, uh, the parrots again, but the problem is we don't really have, we have the jar to catch them in. But how do we get close? We don't know that yet. All oh, right, we have the shovel automatically. Okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm gonna get. Stupid cursed whispery parrot. See, whispery. It must be the, those parrots, because he did say whispery. So how do we get close enough? Shoot, this jar would be a great place to keep the tiny squawkers, but I can't get close enough to catch them. So maybe someone else can get close enough? Maybe? Jebediah Springfield was really a vicious pirate named Hans Sprungfeld. Hans Sprungfeld. Sting, thank you for the 30 months. Appreciate it, how's it going, Sting? Hans. Oh, I don't know why I want to talk to him. Maybe we could use his help, though, I don't know. Yeah, let's dig them up and then talk to them. Okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm going to get. Stupid, cursed, whispery parrot. I don't know why he would be able to get to them and we wouldn't. Maybe we need a monkey's. Maybe we need a monkey's help. So maybe it involves both components. Nah, I don't work for tips. How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! I'm working on another voodoo spell. Have you seen any of these items around? Oh, you need some kind of whisper, huh? You know, every now and again, I swear I hear a tiny voice around here saying, It's free! Dry brush scrap wood! My trees, try it! Hmm, I thought it might have been old Stan implanting subliminal messages in me head to buy some out-of-season shrubberies. Shrubberies? Alright, well that at least definitely confirms that the parrots are the, are the item we need. But we can't get close enough. What if we dig again with them already there? Let's see what happens. Maybe they fly somewhere else. There's not enough room on the sign for the second set. Knights, you say? Okay, I guess this is the only trick. Nah, okay, so that doesn't make a difference. Then I was trying to like do some setup on the sign ahead of time so that they would like fly in there, but that didn't work either. And then he said putting him in the sock would be cruel, right? Even if I could get close enough to catch the parrots in this sock, keeping them in it is just far too cruel. And we can't put the sock in the jar to, like, line it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like uh, maybe we need to... But we don't know why we can't get close enough. I guess because they see us? Is that the problem? Maybe. So we can't put this on the sign. Mm, I don't think so. In advance. Nah. Okay. I think I poked it enough. Where was? Uh, where does this rip go again? Is this going to the jungle? Yeah, it goes to the jungle. With LeChuck was there, right? Yeah. So we can't get. Jacques is no longer on the raft, but maybe this hypnotized monkey could help us. Huh. Another hypnotized monkey. How do we unhypnotize him? Or better yet. How do we bend him to our will? I don't have any bananas. You'd be interested in this? I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Which, coincidentally, is where this came from. Indeed, indeed. Hmm. Give him the jar. Nah, I don't work for tips. Can't talk to the voodoo lady, right? Come on! I need to know how to destroy LeChuck! Oh, we know that now. All right, we could go underwater to see what's her name again. I doubt that. Uh, 
Yeah, it feels like we're missing an item that would help us here or someone's help. So let's see, if we... This goes back to the battle. It goes to the raft. This goes to the bar with WP and there's not a rip there. But let me just go here. Let's make sure that there's no, um, no one's up there, right? There's no Morgan or anybody. You know Morgan's gonna show up probably at some point. It is still strange that it's not here. You can only get to the jail there. Yeah, I don't want to go back there. All right, let me try, try going to the ocean. I don't think it, just so we can rule that out. I guess it's like a mo like motor power too. Ugh. Damn turnstiles. Any new things with Caleb, by the way? Hi, Caleb. Oh, hello again. You wouldn't happen to be keeping a secret that you'd like to share with me, would you? A secret? Yes, I think I have a secret. But you cannot tell anyone. What is it? Well, just between you and me, I think I may be just a little bit off in the head. True, but that's hardly a secret. Oh, it's weird that there's even a dialogue option considering we already put the secret back in the sponge. <laughs> See you later, Caleb. Sure, anything's possible. An organ grinder, organ grinder. Walk, I walk. And it's weird that, um... Yeah, Jacques is gone. Hello, welcome, Duff Chick. Okay, yeah, so you can at least go back down here. Um, I just want to rule this out. I mean, this is the most unlikely, but at least we can rule it out. Now we might be able to grab... Oh, we can get the fishnet now, probably, actually, because we're... A fishnet woven of the finest meshes. Yeah, that's what we could use. Yes. Okay, so that's what we need. That's exactly what we needed. Can we grab this helmet, too? Looks like Takava's helmet found its way out of the Take manatee in one piece. Place it in your purse. I wonder if Takava was so lucky. No, I can't grab the helmet. All right. While we're down here, let's just talk to an anemone. See how she's a mapalier. Hello? I just thought you'd like to know that Van Winslow is leading an attack on LeChuck as we speak. Oh, so valiant. I await his triumphant return. I'm trying to put together a voodoo spell to... You get away from me with that voodoo stuff! What if LeChuck can sense it and it leads him right here? I don't think it works that way. Well, I'm playing it safe anyway. Yes, you are. What did Winslow's note say? It was a lovely haiku. That man can say so much with such few words. I've always found him a bit long-winded. Only in his ability to hold his breath. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Can't, he can't <laughs> can't compete with us in that department. I'll be back later. Be careful. All right. Up we go. So yeah, probably the fishnet could catch the parrots, and then we put them in the jar. So we're we're right that we are missing an item. Here's a haku. Apples. Okay, so we're going to the treasure hunt. No, this is uh, chapter five. Right? You can see right there. All right, uh, got to dig up the X's first. Okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm gonna get. 
stupid cursed whispery parrot. Yeah, well, if you never played before, of course, uh, you would, you'd have no uh, way of knowing. All right, so let's do the fine mesh. A fishnet woven of the finest meshes. Fine mesh fishnet. Aha! Now I got you, tiny little parrot. Oh, they're like tiny, annoying golden mosquitoes. And Dabjack, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the adventure quest. They make the tiniest squawk I've ever barely heard. Oh, do we not need to put them in the jar? Doesn't look like we do. We're just throwing them loose. No, we do need to put them in the jar. Sorry, guys. I need to keep you in a more contained space than my jacket pockets. Yeah, I wonder if we had just walked around, they would have just flown out or something. All right, very good, very good. So we should have, that should be the last item then. I think we got all the items. So now we need to go to the crossroads. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. Bon voyage, my barely audible buddies. They're actually fairly uh -oh. audible. Hope that's not indigestion. Ah! Ah! Don't you think what you did can't be undone? Elaine will be my demon bride, come hell or high water. Hi, Brush. How? The voodoo lady. She brought me back. The voodoo lady? Think of all the peril that woman has put you in. You've been blindly led around by her for so long, Guy Brush. But without her... Attack, my fishy friends! He froze them? This be going on far too long. Elaine is mine, my demon bride, to make me a kingly breakfast each morning, to see to it that my fortress of evil is kept tidy in case we have guests over to torture, no. to patch up all my worn out tattered socks. And I'll that's my Laney Pooh. You're right, sweetie. He doesn't give you much to work with, does he? Uh oh. <clears throat> Excuse us a moment, Guybrush. The wifey and I need to have a little private talk. When did they actually get married, though? A futile, if admirably treacherous gesture, my buttercup. Even without La Esponja's help, I've already sucked up so much power that I can simply step into the crossroads and take as much voodoo energy as I desire. <laughs> you see, you can temporarily destroy my body, Elaine, but you cannot damage my spirit. Oh, my Morgan. spirit! <laughs> that, you big, ugly, undead voodoo-stealing bunchback toad! Oh, Morgan? Well, what are you doing here? And... Where did you get that sword? Look, we can kill a Chuck, but we have to find a way to take him on in both the physical and the spiritual plane at the same time! Do what now? <sighs> Look out! Ah! <sighs> I'll be back for you, lass. <laughs> Think of all the times you tried to destroy me. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, oh, ow. all that pain, all that suffering. Now, just imagine what I'm gonna do to you, Freeport. So, oh. thank you for the 16 months. Skybrush! <sighs> Okay, yeah, let's get a save in here. Oh, 
Fina oh, the finale. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I think it was pretty clear it was the finale, but anyway. Uh, another attempt to claim the Cutlass of Kaflu flailed. Instead, Elaine tried to use it against him. Guybrush decided that the big sponge was keeping her under LeChuck's power and it had to be shrunk. With a new diet spell given to him by Galeb, Guybrush managed to gather more voodoo ingredients and return La Sponja Grande to its former tiny state. Not too pleased with this, LeChuck takes it upon himself to personally beat Guybrush to a pulp. Alright. <clears throat> so... We need to take him on in both the spiritual and material worlds, apparently. The thing. So I think we're going to have to use our Shred of Life right to seal up the rip. That's going to happen at some point, you think. Okay, we got a rope and the main sail. A sail filled with the ill winds of... Oh, forget it. All this getting punched in the face is leaving me feeling unmetaphoric. And here's... Wait, what? But hey. Chuck... Oh, you've kidnapped Elaine. You've strung me up in lame traps, zapped me with a voodoo doll. You've tried to force me to be your undead slave, but never tried to kill me so brazenly. Which is the greatest mistake I ever made. What? Mind the drop. Oh. Oh, I like one of the skeletons has one of those floaties. That's awesome. A Box. bunch of barrels containing God knows what. Uh, they're locked up tight. Away from me, limited vintages of grog. We'll crack open the finest over your shriveled corpse. Well, we have a hook. Can we get him open that way? No use. My hook won't fit in this lock. Oh. Skeleton. Lane is doing a better job with that skeleton army than I'm doing with LeChuck. Plunder Bunny! Pick a Rooney! Oh, we can stop the Chuck, but we have to do it when he's crossing between worlds. I'll try to lure him across. You stab him with the cutlass. I'll fight tooth and nail for you, Guybrush. Well, thank you. Lanykins! 3P! <laughs> 3P. Oh, light the cannon. Well, oh, this guy's starting to get on my nerves. And my spleen. <laughs> you think that's bad? Try being engaged to him. He wanted a pineapple wedding cake with chocolate on the icing. What a <laughs> jerk. The horrors, the horrors. Uh, Elaine. Guybrush. I like the cannon. Yes, dear. Let's see what this does. You always wanted to be a pirate, isn't that right? Oh, or a fireman. Or an astronaut. Uh, you know, you're not a real pirate until you've had the plunder and pleasure of being keelhauled on this ship. Many a crewman has seen the underside of this ship, but none were as sniveling and sorry as you. Oh no, we're getting keelhauled <laughs> with a couple of pirate skeletons. Oh, keys. Ah, so there's gonna be the keys for the grog cabinet. <laughs> Did we enjoy our little swim? <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> we now have the opportunity to... You look spent, Swabby. Perhaps you ought to rest a spell. Off to your quarters. Whoa! Yeah, when you get the opportunity to try to take the keys is the problem. So we probably have to do something in advance to get a keel haul. Oh, cannon. Fired. That didn't do anything because we had to probably set up something else. All right, what's in the cabin? Door? There's a part of me that imagines LeChuck's cabin with pastel walls. <laughs> Broken door. Oh, yeah, what are we doing with this broken door? Main mast. It's so cute watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? I always just like you have limited time to do things, and even like look around and get information. Don't, never like time segments in adventure games. So now we're back up here. We never got to look at the rope the last time. It's down to the wheelhouse. Alright, and then the main sail. We, I also need to tell her about the Elaine's, or that we still have a ring, which we also didn't get the chance to do. Can we swing, like, zipline down this? The rope? With the hook in? 
What? Didn't even get the opportunity to try it. Oh. Why are you doing this? I'm tired of putting up with you. And I just love the sound you make when you hit the dick. Oh. All right, so it looks like we're rotating between three different locations. Elaine, Sky brush? Oh, I've still got your ring. Thank goodness. Question Elaine. is whether we're ever going to use it. Sky brush? Okay. Um... Uh, need any help? Not really. You? Nah, I'm good. Wonder Bunny. Pick a Rooney. You sure you have no lasting demon after effects? Just the burning desire to kill Le Chuck. That's my girl. Mm. Elaine! Guy Brush! Hey, is it weird that I thought you were a little sexy when you were all poxed up? What? <laughs> I mean, does that mean I'm secretly a little attracted to Le Chuck? Focus! <laughs> Lanykins! Sleepy! Okay. <laughs> So, how was your day? Uh, no, usual. After this is all over, let's say we take a nice long vacation. I thought this was the vacation. <laughs> okay, so we probably need to do something with the door and the to get those keys. Whoa. Yeah, dude, no no references. You, you can't just say, oh, I've, I, I've watched this game before, and by the way, here's a reference on what, what's going to happen. I mean, come on. Wow, I had like three seconds to do something there. All right, so I wanted to try. I don't know whether this didn't work or. Okay, yeah, it was a thing to do. Try to fly away, little peepwood. All right, so we get to end. This is a new spot. We got the main sail, and that's it. Yet another sail filled with the ill winds of change. Uh, I have no idea what we want to do with that yet. Oh wait, oh giant cannon is here. You know what's so great about this? Ah! We're both getting our cardio in for the day? The simplicity. It's just you, me, my shit. Elaine! A no voodoo lady. By Blackbeard's boots, I hate that woman. Now I think it's time for you to swab the deck. Okay, so let's. I guess we gotta prop this door up against the. Uh, That's not gonna work. Cabin door. Nah. Well, where? To find another hotspot for that. Where we can put this door. And we gotta do something with this. Elaine. That doesn't help. Yeah, give it to Elaine. All right, so we gotta find a. Does Elaine know about on. Morgan Guybrush? What? That sultry sea minx had it for Threepwood. Her corsair sailed for only him. A pity I had to kill her. But now they can kindle their love in hell. See, it makes you work on like four different things at once, which I don't care for. So there's something with like firing the cannon and luring him to the down to the wheel thing, but we need to get the grog. So it seems like this is what we gotta do here, although maybe we gotta do something with the mainsail too. We're also gonna get the grog if we get an item to help us get the... So we probably have to have her light at the giant cannon so that it goes off by the time uh, we get here. It's a giant demonic cannon of doom. That would be just big enough for me to hide in. Ah, so we're getting fired out of the cannon. So how do we get there? Uh, oh, the crossroads rip is just beyond that sail. Uh, my hook's got better uses than that. So how do we get down here? Uh, 
How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! It's really annoying. Alright, so we got Cabin Door, Aline... Oh, Skull. Ah, uh, Chuck's always had sort of a gaudy, overcompensating sense of decor. Main mask. What? <laughs> Come on! He didn't even get a chance to do anything. It's just on a stupid, like, ten-second uh, timer. It's really just... Not fun. Hey, All right. Let's see. If, hey, can we slide down this thing? Terror always ripping. wanted to try this. Yeah. Good. I'm Gadmark Streetwood. Mighty Pi. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. All right. So we need something. Oh wait. Actually, talk to Elaine about the. Uh, Elaine. Gadmark. So one thing we could do is say cannon fire and then try to. But we can't get into the cannon. Is the problem. But. If we can at least be there, position there when it goes off, that could be a thing. Um, let's see what happens to in the crossroads. I'm gonna try to lure LeChuck into the crossroads again. So, if he kills me again, you've got this covered, right? No problem, babe. Okay, so the whole thing is we Wonder want to try Bunny. to do that. And what if we say attack LeChuck? Attack LeChuck! I'm on it, sweetie. Oh, Elaine! Hi, Brush! Uh, whatever happens, you've got to stop the Chuck while he's between worlds. Promise me you won't give up and become his bride again. Don't talk like that. I love you. Promise me. I promise. Lanykins. 3B. Are you okay? I feel fine. I'm sorry, Guybrush. The Chuck will kill you. He already has. I'll be all right. Elaine. Sort of. Guybrush. Ah, I didn't know zombies could hurt like this. I don't think you're technically a zombie, darling. Oh, oh. Uh, Elaine. Guybrush! It's weird that they got rid of the cannon option to fire the cannon, which is strange. Be careful. You be careful. <laughs> Would you mind inspecting me hull for me? Oh, it's full of holes. We should really take her into port. Get a nice mug of grog. Ugh, talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. If you actually think about it, the first two games kind of end in sort of similar sequences. Like, remember in one, you're like punched Stop all over the island. Just maggot mating ground. <laughs> and then two, you were in the. Not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Watch you... me try. Ugh. You're in the labyrinth. And you... Wait, now can we grab the keys? What? Oh, I guess, I guess she distracted him because we told her to attack him. So we didn't need him for that. All right, get the keys. I'm not done with you. So now we can get into that cabinet for the garage. We still have to figure out this broken door situation. That's not gonna work. I was the only. Yeah. <laughs> it was the only uh, hot spot I hadn't tried yet there. Might have to put something on the door, but we'll see. That doesn't help. Okay, what else do we have? Hey. It's so cute, watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh. Okay, so here, I think we want to go straight down to get to the... Um, what? I can't use it on sale? What the hell? Why not? Put it back. So now we can't drop down straight away? Why not? That's weird. We were able to do it before. What 
what's up with that? I can get back into the crossroads. At least LeChuck won't have as much sea hardened ship to smash me into. Seems really arbitrary. Uh, my hook's got. Okay, we still have the canyon. Uh, it's so high up. Oh. And my acrobatic skills are waning. So there's no way we can, like, climb down there, eh? That's not. I guess we just have to get wish oh, wait till I get punched down. Wait for you to give up and just go away. All right, so this is I think where we want to be, right next to the cabinet, right? No. Can't walk over here. Uh, I like mine better. Oh come on, we can't even walk over there. So. Uh. Ladykins, sleepy. Like the cannon again. I'm on it, sweetie. So this will, I guess, this will hit the, now that we did a hole in the mast, this will get to the rip, to the uh, rip. Know about Morgan, Guybrush? What? That sultry sea minx had it for Freewood. Her Corsair sailed for only. <sighs> okay, hang on a second. I'm, sorry, I'm going to turn off the buys because I think we're probably right at the end. So don't want to stop for a break now. A pity I had to kill her. But now they can kindle their love in hell. All right, can we please get to the cabinet? Oh, it shoots from there. Well, that didn't do anything. So we have to find some way to navigate there. And we have no idea why we can't go down anymore with the mast. That's not explain at all. I don't know if there's a way we could have gotten there faster to see the cannon blow through the into the brick. So we have to find some way to get to the cannon. Hmm. I can't. <laughs> we don't want to do this. Either. I can't reach it from here. I have to do it from the other side. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, there are hot spots here. Maybe we gotta load something. Oh, maybe we load oh, it in I the cannon. Can't wait for you to give up and just go away. Can we please get to the other side, please? We have to figure out the broken door. Panicking, I'm just frustrated. Partly by what you said, actually. All right, so how the hell did we get over there? I don't want to give a ring back to her, right? Oh, Helene told me to keep this. Okay. <laughs> You can't reanimate the uh, narwhal with Winslow in the... Yeah, that's something you can do. I don't know why they disabled this path to go to the keel hauling. So strange. Okay, maybe I don't do anything and he'll just punch us down there? Yeah, okay, I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, then you Okay, there we go. Alright, Mark... Alright, can, uh, can one of the mods please time out Marker? Please. All right, let's open up this game. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Quit making a mess. I'm gonna swab my deck with your scraggly excuse for a beard. All right, so now the grog is loose, so maybe now it'll make more sense for the um, the, the, the broken door there. Uh, a little more cannon fire would go great with these multiple concussions. You got it, love. Okay. Oh, let's give out a couple of Cedrics because we got the other stuff. So I think if you get keel hauled, I don't think there's anything else there we want. Maybe the sword? Oh, he's still trying to reach for the sword, maybe. Or it could have just been a reused animation. Let's we'll see. Okay, now let's see what the situation is here with the... Let's 
barrel. See, look at this mess. This is why you don't leave unrestrained barrels on the deck. Ugh. Okay, broken door on the barrel. There we go. So now it's like a seesaw, so the next time we fall down here. Ah, a seesaw. Let's see. Huh. It's so cute, watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh. Okay. So now I think we want to take the rope down there. So look at us. Okay, from here we'll fall straight down when he hits us the next time. We still have to figure out the giant cannon. I was hoping it would fire now. Uh, it's a giant demonic cannon of doom. It will be just big enough for me to hide in. So I guess, yeah, we'll fall. He'll hit us. We'll go on the seesaw. We'll bounce up into the giant cannon. And then it'll fire and we'll go through the rip. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away. Oh, I thought we were going to fall in the seesaw. Damn. Ah, a seesaw. Let's see. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's from one of the Star Trek games. Played. There we go. Trying to blast yourself to safety or blow yourself up in defeat. Damn it, why did you do that? We are supposed to fire. We told her to get the cannon going. Elaine, side brush? Uh, a little more cannon fire would go great with these multiple concussions. You got it, love. <laughs> Why is it such a delayed fuse, by the way? Ah, a seesaw. Let's see. Huh. Wait, why didn't you go in the door? Ah! What the hell? So one time you went on the door, the other two, two, two times you didn't. Come on. Ah. Makes no sense. So arbitrary. Oh, yeah, thanks. Hi. Wow. Oh, no. Snow like rhyme or reason. Do the same action, get different results. Hate. Hate. All right, now we just have to wait until we get knocked down. Now I can't wait for you to give up and just go away. This is no time to play the fool. Okay. Uh, Elaine. Get the cannon ready. Light the cannon again. I'm on it, sweetie. All right. Can you please stand on the uh, a seesaw? Let's see. Huh. Yeah, see, sometimes he doesn't, sometimes he doesn't. Makes no sense. Fire the cannon. See, last time we had this fire ready too. <laughs> we got the pot. Last time LeChuck just threw us out of there. Oh my god, you look terrible! LeChuck. What? We need to trap him, Guybrush! Don't! You two can get cozy together when I'm done giving Threepwood his painful and permanent farewell into the afterlife. Ow! Seal up the rip. <sighs> Kybrush, what are you doing? It's the only way. What? Is it over? Hello? Did we win? I guess we did. Hmm. All right. Oh, okay. Game isn't over yet. All right, very good. That was, a, that was a nice stabbing, I would say. 
Uh, the center of the crossroads. I guess I'm stuck here for good now. We'll see. Where Where's Morgan? Where did Morgan go? Another fine question. Okay, now dead tree. The boat's not here either. Okay. Uh, yeah, we still have the fish. <laughs> okay, so what can we do? Let's see. So maybe we gotta do something on the crossroad center. It's the only hotspot. Um, ring of keys. I wonder if one of these keys will unlock that drawer on the desk that Elaine bought from the yard sale. Nah, eh, probably not. Okay. Do so I have to do something with your ring? You send the ring back to her somehow? Courage, anchor, direction, sacrifice. Place these things in a ring at the center of the crossroads. A ring. Ha! Ah, clever. You wow! And what a rush! Hey, my hand is back! Oh. Guybrush! Oh, it's about time! It is? Wait, you were expecting me? But I was dead. Is that why you gave me... You should know enough to trust me by now, Guybrush Threepwood. But you asked LeChuck to make you a demon bride. How did you know I would be able to bring you back from that? After all these years and all of our adventures, two things are certain. That I always have a plan. And that Guybrush Threepwood will always come for me when I need him most. Alrighty then. That's my plunder bunny. Well, the important oh. thing now is that LeChuck is gone. For good this time. And you are finally free from whatever fate was planned for you and LeChuck. And that's what this whole Esponja Grande thing has been about, huh? Actually, it's pronounced Esponja with an H sound at the end. <laughs> Thank you. Really? But we've all been saying Esponja. Yes, I know. It's been bothering me this whole time. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to look silly. Oh, you're going to get it for that. That's awesome. <laughs> I like how they uh, recognize that. All right. This is no time to play the fool. Wow, really good game. Really good. I'm surprised they were able yeah. to keep it going Ooh. after. The rest of that series and nine years later, different developer, but still lived up to uh, this, uh, the series. And in fact, bounced back from Escape uh, from Monkey Island. Really cool. I, you know, I, I was impressed with how like detailed it was, maintained the same humor, brought back the good characters, introduced some good new ones. We never found out what happens to Morgan though. Maybe there'll be a postscript after the credits. We'll see. But yeah, I like, I mean, each, and like each episode is pretty, like, substantial. Which, uh, you know, if I had been playing this back when it was released episodically from, you know, August 2009, I think, to February 2010, Score. would have been pretty cool, too. <laughs> Thank you, Stu, for the bit. So yeah, wow, really, uh, really impressed with it. Uh, maybe slightly surprising, I guess, did it, I wonder how well it did commercially, because I'm surprised... Because Telltale was around for nine years after this, they never went back to the Monkey Island. Well, to continue the series. Maybe it didn't do as well in the consoles? I don't know. Oh yeah, probably if you know. But I wouldn't be surprised if that was intentional the whole time. Because she even says, I've been annoyed the whole time. Or whatever. Yeah, and th there's a good through line. The episodes all weave together pretty nicely. Yeah, I know they abandoned them, but it's maybe because it was just easier. I mean, it takes probably a lot more work to make a game with the puzzles because it's actually more of a proper game as opposed to these visual novels with dialogue choices. They had the whole series on sale for a dollar. Oh, wow. So it actually didn't do so well, maybe. That's really that's really a shame. Yeah, but then they spent a ton of money. to make the glorified visual novels, I guess. Although, you know, I haven't played one of them yet, but from what you guys have told me, 
They're pretty much on rails with a few different endings depending on the dialogue choices you make later on. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the Disney required LucasArts. Oh, that's true. So maybe that had played a part for sure. All right, well, we need to give out 21 Cedrics. Who got 21? 21 hours and 54 minutes it took. Yahoo! Over the course of five chapters slash episodes. And I like, yeah, LucasArts was still like cons consulting. So maybe, you know, you clearly saw, hopefully the influence of both Ron Gilbert and uh, Dave Grossman. Who they brought back. Well, Evil Bill, what about um, Sam and Max? We played Sam and Max Save the World, which is still, it only became that formula later. It'd be interesting to see the, uh, the bone games, the uh, bo uh, yeah, the two bone games. Yeah, my cat on sex, that would be great. Bubbles, the plastic dinosaur. And there's Wallace and Gromit in Back to the Future, which I think are still on that right side there. Yeah, the Batman games came later though. Those I think were more in the visual novel era, walking sim, etc. Okay, here is a postscript. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it. So, my child, have you done as I asked? I have. Now for your end of the deal. Yes, your actions have influenced your fate. I will allow your ghostly form to return to the physical realm to carry on as a fearsome pirate hunter. Ghost Pirate Hunter, Morgan LaFlay. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Perhaps. You have chosen your own fate. Now go. There is much work to be done before the tides of destiny shift again. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, they're even setting it up for a follow-up. Now we know that at least we haven't to this point and gotten yet. At least we find out what happens to Morgan? Or what will happen? Ooh! SamandMax2010.com Nice. Is that for, I think that's season three, the Devil's Playhouse or whatever. Yeah, nice teaser. Can you imagine like a crossover between Monkey Island and Sam and Max? That would be uh, interesting. All right, awesome. Yeah, well, still like a great game. I'm really surprised by how good it was. I had no idea it would live up to this series. I mean, it's not my favorite, the timed sequence between the few areas, but it wasn't as bad as it certainly could have been for sure. So yeah, really, really strong game. Very, very good. So let's head to our Hall of Adventure. Bookshelf number two. Well, game 286, Tales of Monkey Island. Put it up on the shelf. 